You're watching Fox 5 News at 10. What New Yorkers watch. Okay. Hey, this is a story that's going to really affect a lot I of know. people. Sick and tired of headaches and all the medication you have to take to get rid of them? You usually give headaches. <laughs> Sometimes. Fox 5's Dr. Soda Freak is going to tell you about something you can do to stop the pain. What did you eat tonight? <laughs> It was like a slamming pain. I had to be by myself in a room. It, it was horrible. Michelle Quinn has been living with the misery of migraines for five years. I used to panic when I'd get these horrible headaches because I'd think that this is going to be two days of being in bed and not being able to do anything. That would mean missing work as a third grade teacher and not being able to train her show dogs, Tom and Jerry. We tried several medications that weren't really working. But Michelle says biofeedback helps to stop the pain. Calm your body. Biofeedback is a technique that uses the mind to control the body. Sensors tell you what's going on inside your body, so you can learn to voluntarily control functions such as heart rate, blood pressure, and muscle tension. For someone who is prone to headaches, as well as many other chronic diseases, they want to keep their body as calm and relaxed as possible. Dr. Don Buse is a headache and pain specialist at Montefiore Medical Center in the Bronx. She says biofeedback can also help increase blood circulation. Research has shown that the most important thing that someone with migraines can learn to do is increase their circulation. And that's what we measure with finger temperature. And that would be... She says you can increase your finger temperature by using imagery of a warm place. Maybe imagining you're at the beach on a summer day. I was a little skeptical, so I gave it a try. Notice the color of the ocean. It might be a dark blue or it might be a pale. Now can I open my eyes and peek? Sure. So you've increased um, a degree and a half. After a little more practice. So you increased your finger temperature by five and a half degrees. By five and a half degrees? Mm-hmm. Wow. Michelle admits she too was a little skeptical at first, but she's become a believer. Her headaches are not as severe or as frequent, and she now takes less pain medication. Dr. Sapna Parikh, Fox 5 News. For more information on migraines and how to treat them, log on to myfoxny.com and click on the health tab.